Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker: The Witcher Tales. This, this is fine. This is fine. I feel like the living embodiment of that. Uh, this is fine cartoon. Uh, just standing in between this, these uh, burning shacks. As a start today, we're gonna just fight some Nilf Guardians because last time we skipped over one of the fights over here. I think I could pause here last time. Apparently not anymore. So let's move over here and take out this encampment. Hello, fellas! Imperial Reconnaissance. Readying herself for her next clash with Nilfgaardian forces, Meave recalled lessons she received as a young girl about the continent's geography. My young lady, the Nilfgaardian Empire's domain is large enough to contain the Kingdom of Lyria not once, not twice, but thirty times over, her tutor once explained. Thirty, the Queen sighed. How can I hope to defeat this Colossus? Is such a feat even possible? So apparently a standard battle, uh, which means two rounds. I'm gonna try and skip through a few sections of this. But it's also the first time we get our new Reynard, the units over here. We have also Stunder now as well. Um, which I might actually keep for now. So let's just get rid of the Lyrian Horn. And then get rid of those two Sightmen. And just get moving. Must be an important lesson in this. So it seems pretty basic. If we check out the Nilfgaardian champion, damage an enemy by the number of your allied units. So the more we can take out, the better. Um, let's start with the Grey Rider. Without hesitation. And now we can put down the Regiment Drummer and work our way down from there. 102. So first off, the drummer with the sightman, ah, to me, old lady. then the ba -ba -ba -ba, the stray slingers to move that Think over there slingers. again, they and hit those well. guys over there, and I'm hesitating whether I should use Meave already, and I think we shouldn't. I'm just gonna wait off for one more turn, so we can get the most out of this. If I can damage one more... hmm. How can I spread this evenly? Yeah, you know what? If I use the Stray Slinger and use it on... Oh, those guys are immune now. Okay. Never mind. Can I cancel that? I can. And just spawn the War Wagon. Carny vessels. Hungry like a wolf. There we go. And then I can use Meave to just attack the Vanandal Elite. Because I need to kill that thing. If I'm somehow able to. There we go. I can use Alzer Thunder, Alzer's Thunder to finish him off. Because that removes the immune from all allies, but not the resilience. Which is interesting. We win this round, but I do want to take care of... Yeah, I do want to take care of that guy now. Clear out the bit of our hand. So let's end the turn. And then end it completely. There we go. First round is ours. And I want to avoid him playing everything now. Ooh, two of those sappers, which could come in handy. Let's start off with the Stray's Bomber. You mad? Don't shake that! And then use that on the back row. There we go. That's down to four. Let's just use the Rivian Sapper. Stop your yapping and start digging. There we go. And then on the infantry arbalest. Down he goes. Fire still not doing anything. I need to upgrade my bombers as quickly as possible because that fire is useless at the moment. Egg is going up. He's doing fine. Turn start boost adjacent units by one if this unit has armor. Which it does. Could use Meave now to use to get a bit of damage down, but I feel like I could just pass as well. You know what? No. Let's use Meave on the Black Infantry Arbalest, damaging the guy in the back as well. And then use the Rivian Sapper to do two Good damage on the front one. And then on the Imperium forces. If I get lucky with the fire, he actually loses armor completely. Oh no, we just got armor, well, damage on the first unit. In the 
Okay, yeah, I need to stop. Yeah, I definitely need to stop. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. Here we go. Pass. And leave the rest for the final turn. He's gonna pass as well, I presume. Yeah, there we go. There's always a bit of a delay on the turn of uh, your opponent in Throne Brick. I don't know why, because it's AI, so he should be able to do that all by himself. Okay, so we have two Hush Dukes, and that's it. Crap. So I can give a lot of charges, but I don't have anything to give the charges to. So I could start using the Forager, but I don't have a lot of units to actually use that on. We can get the Lyrian Hush Duke on the... Wait, does this give a charge to the garden right? Yeah, does that work? Yeah, it does. It does. So that's that. Yes. That is actually pretty good. So that, those are all six now. So if I lose, use this Lyrian Sightman, I can use Neve to damage everything over there and boost the Sightman and then use the Forager the first time to get him to 31. And then I could just reduce the amount of targets he has. Heal an ally and boost it by the amount healed. Fair enough. And we get damaged again. Then Xavier, which, yeah, I can't do anything else than this. Might as well just consume him immediately then. There we go. Could have put the Forager on the bottom row as well. Then Egg over here. And then the turn. I'm not going to be able to do this, but... And I don't get damage again either. So, Egg is gonna get gobbled up, up to 67, and then the Lyrian Melo is another boost of 67. But I don't think I'm gonna make this. There we go. Although it does look like we might be able to make this, he's gonna be able to do damage one more time, but still, it's only... Prescription. A bit of blood 10? 11 damage? Yeah, okay. There we go, we did. We did still win with a very bad hand. Just a lot of those, uh... Yeah, those guys, uh, the, the Giso footmen. To Duke Ardal. Ah, yes, from Sergeant Mar Glyph. If you have to pronounce that like that. Your Excellency, your orders have been fulfilled. We re requisitioned over 30 head of cattle from the local population, slaughtered them and left them under the sun. Once the carcasses have reached the appropriate level of rot, as determined by the medics of Vicovado, they shall be sent to the front for the artillery division. Okay, so this is where they made those rot tosses, which we fought on the bottom there. Interesting. But uh, not really useful, is it? Um, so now we have two ways to go. Again, we can go low first and check out, I think that's the bridge with the unicorn and the stuff over here or north first. I'm going to do north first, loop around, then do the bridge in the question mark and then the puzzle and then we should be done probably for the next episode when we get to Aldersburg. So, question mark in Coming this village. Small brook, Crimson Tides. ordered her soldiers to replenish their water supplies. When they returned, it was with empty water skins and troubled expressions. Milady, the water tastes of blood. Uh, not like black pudding, mind, but uh, rancid, uh, filthy. Meave had no choice but to march on. She gulped dryly and wondered how to interpret this strange event. An omen, perhaps? A warning from the gods? I would feel like it's just something that was... Well, she there was a mass slaughter. Truth. Following the brook upstream, the Lyrians arrived at a small pool. Bobbing on its surface were dozens of corpses. There we a go. young woman caught Meave's gaze, her long hair spread delicately atop the water, wide open eyes reflecting the sky, a fine nose peppered with freckles, and a gaping wound slashed across her throat. We shall stop here, the queen said calmly, and give these souls a proper burial. Reynard, send scouts. Tell them they are not to return until they ascertain what has happened here. When the scouts returned a while later, they brought with them a barefooted peasant they'd found hiding in the woods. They claimed he hailed from Horton, a nearby village, the village whose inhabitants had been murdered. The black-clad wretches stormed the village, my lady. The devil free gave at the fall. Rounded us right up, took us down to the lake. Whole village, mind. 
then chop, chop and splosh, splosh. It was I alone gave him the slip. Meave listened to the man's tale, then placed him in the care of her medics and ordered the Lyrians to break camp. She rode at the head of their column, Reynard at her side, her knuckles gripped white on the reins. Do we know where this Freegef is stationed? Our riders report he's pitched camp to the east. Then let's pay him a call. They killed all, like Rosberg. My lady, please, make them pay. Vrigev actually is a card in Gwent as well, so he is a commander. Uh, what's this? Your Majesty, our scouts have found a gra fresh grave not far from the village. It's engraving a Nilfgaardian. Seems an invader was laid to rest there. Judging by the tributes left, he must have been someone important. The Horton Slaughter still has our soldiers livid, and they wish to destroy the grave. Shall we leave them to it? Um, take only the tributes, leave the rest untouched, take everything of value and destroy the rest. Just take the tributes. There we go. Feels like there's no response there. So I felt like if we just destroyed the grave as well, somebody in our company would have minded. Milka, Bezrad, Kristan, all killed. Souls snuffed out to the very last. So that's probably the peasant we found. For help, I know. But I was afeard. Afeard the black clouds had catch wind of me. Hear me. What now? Whatever will I do? Alone. Left all alone. My lady buried our valuables for the black clouds came. In the wood, near a big boulder. Got a bit of charcoal? I can sketch the way for you. Okay, that is interesting. Near a big boulder. Okay, so it must be pretty close to this place. And there were like stone pillars available as well. And this is the Nilfgaardian camp probably, let's knock on the door. The Lyrians had no trouble finding Vrigev's camp. It was the size of a sprawling town. Meave stopped her caravan and called for a council. The first to speak was Reynard. Seems our scouts were both right and wrong, Your Grace. They did pinpoint General Frigef, the Butcher of Horton. Unfortunately, they underestimated his detachment. It is much larger and better armed than our own. Well, we've never shied away from a battle, so let's attack his that detachment. That changes nothing, Meave said, forestalling all protest. If I leave him unpunished, without so much as an attempt, I shall never be able to face my reflection again. We must attack. Reynard bowed and passed the order to the Lyrians. Later that same day, Meave and Vrigev's forces stood face to face on the field of battle. Here we go. Crimson Tides and the, uh, well, Crime and Punishment. There he is, that's the card. Meave expected General Vrigev's countenance to parallel his villainy. She imagined a face disfigured by Scar's yellow teeth and a sinister eye patch covering a hollow socket. Instead, she bore witness to a distinguished gentleman in his 40s with a meticulously trimmed beard. He appeared to be rather, well, Normal. Defeat the Nilfgaardian army or eliminate General Vrigev. There we go. We have a wall again, obviously. We have Alzur Stunder, and that doesn't have a restriction with restraint, actually, so. Might be interesting. Come out, Frigev! It's time you pay for your crimes! Okay, we have a wall again. So every turn on turn start, boost around the mala by two and give it armor, but if we manage to destroy everything we uh yeah we get boosted um the problem is i might not be able to we'll see uh if i set can i set the row of the wall on fire because that might be interesting so let's set the row Catch! on fire so that's the wall we set on fire and then i think i might actually use me yeah in a second in a second we'll see you deserve to die! There! Frigga! I see him! We've got to catch him! Every turn on turn start, damage the lowest ally by 10 and boost the highest ally by 5. Okay. That is interesting. So I need to switch this quickly around, because otherwise he's going to keep boosting the wall. I can, of course, use Alzu Stunder to do this. And take out at least one of his units. Oh, those... Wait, those respawn? After an ally is destroyed, move to its position. Okay, so he just keeps going. 
Then I could use... Yeah, I could have used that on the wall then. Yeah, let's end the turn for now. Okay, so it doesn't Order. seem like he's taking the wall into account. And the wall doesn't seem to be damaged by the fire either, which is annoying. Let's use the war wagon first. You can try to win them all. But you then won't. use Meave on the... The Arbalest. I think I'm going to do that on the Arbalest. There we go. It's going to destroy his own Arbalest then in the next turn. Which is fine by me. And he gets another one in return. And those, his deck must be filled with those units. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm, I won't gain anything from uh, using that. Um, okay, let's use the Forager. And get him to destroy those two. And that damages Frigga further. Which is interesting. So that one guy keeps going, but if I'm able to kill Vrigev, wise choice. That might actually be interesting. Let's put the Grey Rider down now. So I must, yeah, the wall doesn't actually get damaged by the fire, which is annoying. Um, yeah, Grey Rider. Yes. He's gonna kill his own Arbalest again. Then we'll use Black Raylon next. Give all allies immune. Yeah, that's annoying. So Black Rayla. I'll fight to my last breath. Get her boosted as well. And that just fills up again, so that's fine. And we get damaged a lot, so Egg is gonna gonna help out as well. He just keeps getting getting those uh, spearmen out of there. Okay, give a charge to the card to the right. Exactly what we're gonna do. Then we can target Vrigev right now. So let's just go with the war wagon right now. Put that thing over there. Take it anymore. Then uh, get. Hmm. Let's just get another drummer out, just for the sake of it. Put him over there. Left, right, left, and and the third. Right. He just keeps damaging his own stuff, and yeah, okay, damage again, heal again, it's all fine, Frigav is still killable, oh, 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 take it easy buddy, take it easy, so, now, let's put Xavier on the field, Fear not. there we, we go, we use the drummer to get another Sightman out, uh, to there we go. Lady. We use Xavier to boost to get Rayla two charges. Then uh, we use Rayla to get uh, Forager out. Yep, over here. I only loot corpses. Then we use That's Rayla to get Raynard out and get ourselves boosted a lot, and all the charges are refilled. Is. Exceptional. Then we use the Forager and destroy those two dudes. And we get damage on the field with that. Then the drummer to get another Sightman out. This is reaping black clouds. Then Xavier give Black Rayla his charge. Then Black Rayla with another... I think we have another Harsh Duke, right? Yeah, we had another Harsh Duke on the field. On no the right there. Manage. There we go. Then we use Xavier to give that charge to Rayla. Then Rayla. Rayla, Rayla, Rayla. Dear old good Rayla. Let's get Egg down. Egg over here. A knight should Free rider help. moves. Our codex commands it. Black Rayla to get... Hmm. Could have used Isabel as well, but I don't, I'm still not sure how she actually works. Uh, and then we can use the field medic, maybe. Could be interesting as well. So let's play the field medic. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. Oh, is that? Isn't? Oh, wait. What? What am I deploying? What am I deploying? I don't know what am I deploying. So let's put. If it's the, fo I think it's a forage. No, it's ah, it it's one of those guys. Okay, okay, fair enough. But at least we'll, yeah, we'll see what happens next.
More spearmen going down. And here's that again. Another spearman in his place. Yeah, there's way too many spearmen to actually do something about that. Um, now. Let's use Commander's Horn. And damage Frig Heavy even further. And then for the final turn will be... Oh, he... He randomly boosts Frig Heavy for the first time now. That's that. We get another 7 probably. Yeah. This is... Yeah, pretty useless. I'm guessing we'll use that on that then. There we go. And now we use the Lyrian Merlot to boost the War Wagon up to 60 and pass. So we couldn't kill Vrigev, but at least we won. There we go. And his final card is not going to do anything about that. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Constantly the slave driver. And Egg just keeps going so we don't lose any points by the damage. And we got a victory there. No dead Vrigev though. Really bad at those side day, objectives. Despite their foe's distinct advantage. Historians later ascribed Meave's victory to her light troop's superior maneuverability in the difficult terrain compared to the plate-clad Nilf Guardians. But if you ask me, that wasn't it at all. A storm of fury had been quietly gathering in the Lyrians' hearts. A squall of rage stoked by the Nilf Guardians' unparalleled cruelty towards the conquered. And no one embodied this barbarism more perfectly than General Frigif. Meave's men were ready to sacrifice anything to see him punished. There we go. They dragged the defeated general before Meave. The queen wished to learn why he'd ordered the execution of an entire village. How the Nilfgaardians could possibly justify such a crime. Two weeks prior, I'd sent a detachment to Horton to procure feed. Captain Gaynor commanded it. While he was verifying their grain stores, they barricaded him in the barn and put it to flame. The queen listened to the general's story, her face a mask, betraying nothing. Murdered. One man was murdered. And you decided to respond like Frigoth that? raised his eyes to Meves. The queen was surprised to see them wet with tears. Yes, my lady. My son. The general's simple words bore pain, grief, and a thirst for revenge that would never be slaked. The queen had to decide what to do with Frigif. No doubt the general had earned punishment, the harshest possible at that. Yet, such a weighty personage could fetch a hefty ransom, and Meave's army desperately needed the gold. No, I don't think we do. Ransom the general or execute the general? I don't think this is even a choice. We have enough gold, so let's just execute this mother... Yeah, you know, this, this bad guy. My father taught me to respect the generals of my enemies. That even in captivity, their arms should not be taken from them. Their guards should greet them in salute. The queen said. But you, Frigef, you are no general. Merely a cutthroat dressed as one. You shall die like the good folk of Horton. Quickly. Summarily. Frigif received the queen's decision with sang -froid. He neither struggled nor begged for mercy. He simply laid his head on the trunk. A short moment later, it rolled onto the ground to the Lyrian's deafening applause. And there we go. One general down and we got ourselves a bit of morale for that. So up and ready for the next battle. Uh, let's take a look around if we can actually find anything useful. I feel like there might be some more correspondence hiding in here. Ooh, and that's wood. That's all the wood. Oh, that was only 50 wood. That was very disappointing. But uh, there is quite a bit of loot strumming around here, so I definitely didn't need the gold we got from him. We should have... we could have gotten from him, but... Uh, and there's even more loot out here. Man, 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 this is like Christmas. Christmas, that was just a tiny bit of wood, but... Nope, still tiny bits of wood. Okay, fair enough. That's that area, and actually I'm just a little bit curious. Let's go south and check out the first next puzzle before we end this episode. There we go, a puzzle at an abandoned... Ooh, that's a moss grave. That is not good, that's a moss grave right there. And it's zooming in. Is that against monsters then? 
pestilence, rotting unburied bodies invite not only flesh-hungry beasts but also pestilence. From monster scavengers one can flee or fight back, yet what defense is there against an invisible enemy? When even air and water pose risk of a slow and painful death, remove all corpses from the board. Okay, holy... Okay... We, wait, that's eight on each row. And the Arbalests do what they normally do? Yeah, damage unit by the number of cards on this row, including self. And the corpses damage adjacent allies by three. So I can kill these. And Meave, yeah, boost now by four and give it one armor, then trigger all lo loyal abilities. But every thought, no, Death Wish. Death Wish, damage an adjacent. Adjacent allies by three. Okay, so this is one big field I need to clear out. I'm guessing I need to just put one over here. Lyria! And then just damage one in the center, right? Although I need to make space as well, so I'm going to have to start um, over here. Okay. And the turn. Cooldown on three. Then this one. one bolt. Like this. I think I can use Meave's ability now. So if I use her ability on, for example, this one. What happens then? Okay, now. So those are the closest ones to them. Okay, and the turn. Then I need to kill... Uh, one over here to make space. Or maybe even one over here. Yeah, let's do that. And do that. And the turn. Place one over here. Abolista, your command. And damage the highest one over here. So that's going to kill the one next to it. The one next to it. And the one next to it. Yeah. There we go. And there we go. Okay. That's sadly not all of them on that row, but it's a start. Uh, one over I'm here. Do that in the back. Yeah. And then Meave Longswords on this one so he survives. Oh, none of them died. Okay. Done. We get five again. And five should probably just be used to clear out this row. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so that's row is completely gone now. Then use the, Lyrian, the next Lyrian Arbalest to take out this one. And I think I made a mistake. Because I won't be able to kill both of them any. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Okay. And then use the Lyrian Arbalest over here, which has three now, on this one. And that just does that. And then we can use Meave to whatever, do this. And then I need to be lucky, I think. This Is that enough? I don't think it's enough. Oh, it is It is enough. It is enough. Oh, yeah. There we go. Woo! I had no idea how that was going to end, but that was lucky. I would call that lucky. Tried to be smart about it, but I think that was mostly luck. The skull. We get a skull. That doesn't sound that handy, actually. Just going to quickly check out what that skull is and check out this tent. My queen, the Edernians, retreated with haste, abandoning their tents, supplies, and even some of their equipment. We found something in the commander's quarters. I have no doubt you'll know what to do with it, my lady. Have the old soldiers draw lots to determine who shall open the chest? Have Isabel cleanse the chest of spells and curses before opening it? It's always a better choice. To just have the characters do it. So, uh, there we go. Artifact compression also complete. So we have now two extra trinkets in our possession. So let's take a look at that. The artifact compression, transform an enemy into a jade figurine and move it to your hand. What does that mean? 
You can move the figurine to your hand. I mean, Nickus could eat it then, technically, but if it's still an artifact after that, interesting. I don't know what, there's no explanation as to what the, the Jade figurine is then. Okay, let's just check out the skill then. Banish any number of units from your graveyard and damage all units on a row by the amount damage, uh, banished. Could be interesting. Could be interesting. That's only useful for longer battles where we lose lots of units. Uh, or when we have upgraded the war rank to spawn three light infantry units. But other than that, I feel like, yeah, he's not useful for now. So let's keep the deck as it is and yeah, that's it. And with that, I'm going to take a little break. Next up, we'll probably reach Aldersburg for real this time. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can find King Damavent in his city. If the city is still standing, that is. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, well, hope to see you guys next time on the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.